I can't go on this way. Coming around at night like a thief. Seeing you in secret. I've about had it, Marianne. Then why don't you stay home? I know how you feel about it, but it's only got to remain secret another week. It would be a pity to ruin everything. You know what's going to happen if I break the conditions of Uncle Frederick's will, darling. I only get the ranch. And, of course, this house. On the crazy condition that before I celebrate my next birthday, I'm forbidden to go around with men. Yeah. He must have been a terrible old bastard to act like that. What made the man so mean and ornery? Dr. Walsh said he thought Uncle was trying to protect me. I don't know. But it's not long to go. It'd be a pity to throw everything to the winds by doing something silly now. The important thing is we see each other. I know it's only at night and in secrecy, but it's better than nothing. All that matters is that I love you. Be happy and remember that we can get married in a little while. And I'll be yours completely, and then we'll be together forever. Yes, you're right, I would. Be silly to ruin everything now. I'll just disappear till we can get married. I think I'll take a ride out in the hills. I'll be back in about a week. Why not go and stay with your niece? That's much easier. No, I'd rather be alone. Django. Please take care. Sheriff Django. Django, you're under arrest. We're taking you in. Now get over here. And the charge, Sheriff? Robbery. Unbuckle it. Django, you're charged with stealing the cash that was supplied by the government to construct Silver City's new church and school. Now, if you just come along quietly, I'll be real obliged. Let's go.
<laughs> Where jungle? How does it feel to have to swallow your own medicine? Huh? <laughs> the great outlaw hunter himself in jail. Shut Bloody. up, Mr. Max, or I'll put you in solitary. See, si, Senor Sheriff, I'm shutting up now. This is very democratic. Having a sheriff in jail. I said, shut up. I'm only trying to be friendly, Sheriff. As one thief to another, huh? <laughs> I sure am glad you're going to Yuma tomorrow. <laughs> what about the dollars, huh? Where did you hide them? They would greatly benefit the revolution. <laughs> and another Ramirez, you know, is my good friend. <laughs> What's the matter, gringo? Are you dumb? Well, what is the matter with you? But of course, you are a gringo gentleman and you do not speak with Mexicanos. Hey, you could be a free hombre tonight if you wanted. I got powerful friends. One especially. A big man around here, respected. Someone you've known for a long time, but only by his new name. He was a big bad outlaw years ago. And he's still wanted for three murders. He has fooled the law till now, and everyone else too. Except me, who knows who he really is. I can put a rope around his neck. And I will if he doesn't keep his word. Know what you are. Local, that's what you are. Ah, uh, see? You think Sato is being loco, eh? You think I am sick up in here. It's the truth, I told you. Mm. Amen. You do not believe it, huh? No one ever believes me, Madre de Dios. Well, I will prove it to you, amigo. I will get you out of here tonight. We will go together and then you will learn something else. That I am important. And that soon I will be rich. Hey. You wait, gringo. I am thinking your opinion of me is going to change. Just who is this powerful friend you claim I've met? You really expect me to tell you? I'm sure you will meet with him eventually, amigo mio. <laughs> we'll be free in a little while. That one. He has to get me out. You know why, Gringo? Mm -hmm. Well, if he is letting me go to the Yuma prison, I tell him who he is. And he knows it. Listen, tomorrow let us meet in the abandoned mine. That is my headquarters. You see, I am a lieutenant in General Ramirez's forces. Now, how about that? Hey, hurry. I have already been here for over two months. A few more minutes are making no difference. Come on, put your things in your pockets and let's get moving. Ah! Ah! You see, amigo, he kept his word. It's a pity you didn't believe me, no? I suppose I'm going to stick to my word, too, gringo. Here.
The timing was perfect, muchachos. He had opened the door already to take me out. And bang, bang, he was dead. Now what we do? Huh? You have not been listening. I told you we must find that strong box. And I myself will hang me if we don't. <laughs> I'll take a bet that strong box is a jungle. What strong box are you talking about? Amigo, you are welcome here. <laughs> <laughs> this is Django, ex-sheriff of Silver City. My compañero. My pleasure. <laughs> Here, sit down, amigo. <laughs> Drink, amigo. Thank you. Well, muchachos, I will tell you the bargain that Django and I made. In return from getting him out of jail, he will help us in our great cause. Huh? What, the revolution? He will tell us where it's hidden. The strong boss he steals from Silver City, and the money will buy us guns. Isn't that right, Django? I'm afraid he sort of made a mistake. I haven't robbed anyone of anything. You think what you want. Why are you here, then? I'll help you all I can to find that strong box, to prove my innocence, not to get rich. What are you talking about, Gringo? Madre de Dios! I cannot believe it. People recognize him. They saw him leaving town. If I'd stolen the money, I wouldn't be here now, would I? I'd be off and running. That's right. The whole thing sounds like one of our Boutenis little dreams. And that is another point. He tells everyone he is Ramirez's lieutenant, which is not true. I am. I got me a notion. There's a good possibility your boss is the one that did that job. No? He got us out. So he could have organized that if he'd wanted to. Let's go after him. Well, I better get moving if we're ever going to get a hold of that money. Amigos, I must admit that I was thinking myself the same thing. I'm going to see what kind of information I can pick up. Be seeing you. Adios. 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 Madre de Dios. Django should have stuck to thieving. Murdering the sheriff like that really put his neck in the noose. Senor Scott, I am happy to thank you with all my heart and soul for once again helping me. Had you waited a few minutes longer, I would have been on my way to Yuma, a very difficult place from which to escape. They would have put a rope around my neck, and that would have meant a sad goodbye to your amigo. Hmm? I told you before, I always look after my men. But that's water under the bridge. The only thing I'm sorry about is the sheriff. 
Okay. Here. Eh? Let's drink to the poor dead sheriff, huh? <laughs> When did you ever start feeling sorry for poor that sheriff, Senor Scott? Eh? Eh? Where are we ever going to find another little lamb like Sheriff Benson? Silver City should build a monument to such a man. A sheriff like that is a whole lot easier to deal with in times like these. Uh, that is reminding me in regard to Sheriff Scott. Guess who escaped with me out of jail? Uh... Who? Huh? No idea. <laughs> Who? Django. Django? Mm, Django. Ex-Sheriff Django? That's right, ex-Sheriff Django. <laughs> ah, I'd forgotten that you live a long way from Silver City. And it takes a long time for important and interesting news to reach you. What news are you talking about? I haven't heard. Your friend Django was put behind bars for stealing a, a strombus from Silver City that was actually stolen by some other man. The funds for a new church and school. Right, Scott? Amigo, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, you don't? You, uh, What's the matter with you? You got nits? <laughs> See, I suppose so. It needs washing. Listen to me, Scott. I know you are the boss. That is fine with me. You are the brains and you show us what to do. And also, that is fine with me. But I, my man, do not like being taken. Whenever we are doing a robbery, no matter whether it's being my man who do it, or yours, Senor Scott, I want my percent. You want your percentage, huh? I want. You know, we must have money for the revolution. Mm. General Ramirez cannot be fighting with a weaponless army. We have to buy guns. You recall our agreement, you understand? I want my percent. Is that not clear, amigo? I recall the agreement. And it's quite clear. Now, get out. Did you hear me? Get out of here. <laughs> I'm leaving now. But do not forget what I told you about your friend Django. Or in another way, he is also mi amigo. Ah, uh, he would be more than happy to know of uh, your whereabouts. Go on, tell him where I am if you like. Didn't change a thing, amigo. Mm hmm. Just a minute, Santo. I want you and your men to stay real quiet for the next few days. If necessary, take your men across the border. Hmm. -hmm. I don't want Django getting any wrong ideas. And I'll do my best to find out where that strong box is. <laughs> and don't worry, you get your percentage. Uh, one other thing before you go. Send word to Ramon and his men that should they go against my orders, they'd be killed. Are you all right? What was all that shouting about? Is anything wrong? Oh, nothing serious. It's a long story. Nothing for you to worry about, honey. It's about a man I used to know called Django. The whole thing started five years ago. Django had written to his brother to join him out here. He and his wife and son were passing through this area.
I got myself a barrel full of trouble. I knew that none of the men who worked for me then had done the killing. But I realized it'd be darn near impossible to prove it. And then I saw him. And knew that he'd follow me to the ends of the earth. Nobody could convince Django that I wasn't the one who'd ordered it to be done. And ever since that moment, he's given me no respite. He trailed me night and day. His only thought was to avenge his brother and his family. came to the conclusion that the only way to convince him was to kill him. Hold it, Sheriff. I've been, uh, expecting you. That ain't gonna save your skin. You're totally blind, ain't you? You're just blind with hate. Don't you understand it wasn't me? You've been chasing the wrong hombre, Django. And my men are innocent, too. It was Ramon and his mixes. You're lying to me, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna die now. So if you're a believer, say yourself a prayer. As a sheriff, you wouldn't murder a man like this. You were a star and you've taken the oath of office and you won't break that oath. You know I'm entitled to a fair trial and I'm gonna get it. By the time my case came up, as far as public opinion was concerned, I'd been prejudged. They put me on trial and found me guilty. And sentenced me to hang. On the way to Yuma, where the sentence was to be carried out, I got lucky and escaped. But Django has never forgotten. And he's been looking to get my hide ever since. I can't remain hidden forever. Why don't you offer a big reward and let one of your men take care of this Django? Huh. I did months ago. But none of them's his match. He's like forked lightning with a gun. He makes everyone look like a beginner. The men who tried it are dead.
is a dangerous game. Senor Scott was not joking. How we are doing these things is our business. What is the matter? There's work to do. Come on. Check the baggage, huh? Come on. See what the passengers have in their pockets. <laughs> This walk here looks like he has been embalmed already, muchachos. I have an idea. We tell everybody that Ramon and his men held up the stage. That way I have a feeling Ramon will end up like this gringo gentleman here. <laughs> it would be nice to see Ramon looking like this. Hey, come on, muchacho. What are you doing with our friend? Yeah, he's searching. If he carried two guns, he must have been defending something. Here, you are right, look. Ah! <laughs> 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 you see, compañeros, it's worth the risk, huh? Hey. Vámonos, muchachos. Hey, see. Vámonos. Damn it all. It was the same as usual, boss. It all been shot. And I'd take a bet that it, it was Ramon and his boys. They've been gone two days now. Ramon! Kill that bastard if it's the last thing I do. If somebody doesn't stop him now, he's never gonna be stopped. If he gets away with this, then none of those men will follow me any longer. And that will be the end of everything. It's obvious neither of you are good enough to face that skunk. So it's my job, I guess. The boss is me and Ramon has got to learn that. We finally have something for the revolution. We have something for Ramirez and something for us. <laughs> well, Santo, I sure appreciate your visiting my place. Oh, I knew it was you. I could smell you in there. We're amigos, aren't we? In a pig's eye. What were you looking for? The stolen cash. I was ordered to do it. Who was it ordered to search? I'll kill you, Santo, if you don't tell me. Was it that old friend of mine you mentioned when we were talking in jail? Tell me, you little weasel. and wet back. Throw down your gun. Do not call me that word, and I did not double-cross you. It is true. I'm swearing it. I'm swearing it on all that is sacred. And on the revolution. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
We'll strum my guitar in bed. See you. Well, don't pick it. It'll never get better. Hey, Senor Scott. Mother, is it yours? Where's Ramon and his bunch of bandits? I don't know, Senor Scott. I, uh... Their horses are right outside the saloon. Ramon! You filthy coyote! Get out here! Who is that called me a coyote? I did, and I think it's a good description. Ramon, I'm gonna kill you. I'm mad and I'm gonna cut you down. What have I done? You've been drinking too much, amigo. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ramon. <laughs> then what is the matter, Scott? You ought to know. You disobeyed me, Ramon. And no man gets away with that. Attacking that stage and killing those men has put me into a real dangerous position. You say you are not drunk. It must be then that you are mistaken. I assure you, I did not attack any stagecoach or kill anyone. Ramon, you're lying. And you're gonna pay the price, the full price. As an example to others. No one puts my neck in a noose for me. You made your last mistake, Ramon. You're fired with no pay. <laughs> Please forgive me this pathetic acting. <laughs> Why? Why can't I make the gringo believe me? Un momento. I got a good proposition. Half the money goes to the revolution, and I'm giving you my part to prove I'm your friend. What are you thinking of that, amigo, eh? It's pretty rotten. Take it all, then. You are welcome to it. But you are leaving me a few dollars, eh? To buy some food? Why are you hating me, gringo? Uh, this is how you thank me for breaking you out of jail, amigo. Mm. Then here's the idea which is more better, amigo. I will introduce you to Ramirez. He's mucho hombre. A good man to have as a friend. I just want you to take me to Scott. How about an amigo? Uh, he will kill me if I take you to him. Well, it's me or him. There's something I'm curious about. It's the only thing I admit I don't understand about you. What you're called? A name like Santo. I mean, why'd they give you that name? A man like you. A killer. Called Saint? Well, because... A white dove shit on me the day I was born. Better be going the right way, amigo. We've been riding for two days. Don't worry, gringo. You want to see Scott? This is the trail. No more than about 20 miles in that direction.
Gente! Amigos, the pain I cannot go on. Now what the hell is it? They are burning like a fire. What are they? The beans I ate last night. Please, amigo, the beans, they are not waiting much longer. Oh, I gotta go, gringo. Untie me. Quick, hurry. No, I ain't untying you. You just have to do it like that. Go behind that bush over there. Just don't try anything I wouldn't like. You do not even leave a man his self-respect. He's in front of his own horse. Is that right? I thought you were in a hurry. I am in a hurry. Exactly. But how can I get my pants down? I cannot do anything like this. Tell you what you can do, amigo. You don't have much of a voice, I know. Still, I'd much rather you sang so I can hear you. Feel a mite easier. Damn you, gringo. You ask too much of it, man. I cannot sing from both ends at the same time. <laughs> what do you imagine would happen then? You'd cause a backdraft and you'd swallow your brains? Backdraft, brains, the gringo's loco. It is nearly done. You know, amigo, you've been eating beans, too. Yeah. So maybe I'm next in line. <laughs> hey, come on there, amigo. Ain't you through crapping yet? Well, what are you up to? Come on out of there. Now, come on, Santo. Son of a bitch. Adios, Django. I'll get you, you dirty bastard! Susan, what are you doing in these parts? Scott's looking for you. And there was a gambler at Mary's Saloon asking for you. I thought you ought to know. Good girl, thanks. You know, I've been waiting for that bastard Scott to try setting up some kind of a joke like this. They want to kill you, so be careful. Uh, don't worry about it, huh? Just a minute, Uncle. Huh? I want to wish you good luck. Saloon, so he is. I can't stand liars, mister. If you ain't telling the truth, I'll come back here and I'll send you to Boot Hill.
I got a mind to knock your teeth out. <laughs> Anybody been in here asking questions? Well, someone did ask about Scott. What'd you tell him? Well, I told him he was a customer, but not here very often. Well done. You suffer a lot from verbal diarrhea, huh? What do you mean, verbal diarrhea? Well, when somebody asks me something, I answer. <laughs> it's a bad disease. You can die from it. thousand bucks on his head. That should be the end of Django. I want you to tell everybody about it. Get to work. See ya, get to work. Giselle. I guess it's for the best. <sighs> sure is. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's the right decision. If you don't stop him now, it'll be too late. That man will completely destroy us if you let him. Everyone else knows you're respectable. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Huh? You're in great danger, Uncle Django. Everybody's looking for you. What? Who exactly? The sheriff and all of Scott's men. Scott's put a thousand dollar reward up for you. shoot unless you're real sure that it's him you're aiming at. Scott will have our hides if we go and shoot the wrong man. Don't worry, I know what that bastard looks like. I ain't gonna make any mistakes.
Listen, Carlos. Try and throw your pistol the same time as me, or else you will kill us all three. Was it who sent you, Scott or Santo? It was... Senor Scott. Where is he now? Amigo, I see you're still alive, and that surprised me. Yeah, surprised me. I myself uh, could have killed you and collect the reward, but uh, we are friends. So that's your reason, huh? You're like all the other vultures out there, just waiting their chance. If you were my friend, you'd take me to Scott. Hey, wait a minute, Jungle, wait! Listen, if I take you to Scar, you will kill me. I have already told you that. I cannot die now. I am needed. They are needing me for the revolution. If I am dying, General Ramirez will be lost. There will be no one to find the cash for guns. Listen, amigo, I want you to trust me. Hey, you are not having too many friends these days. I will tell you something very interesting. It will be a big night in Silver City tonight. Come with me into town, and I will show you a good hiding place. Come with me, amigo, and you might even find Scott, eh? All right, now let me look at that arm. Sit down. Uh, it's just a flesh wound. You were lucky. Let it go, Susan. It's too much trouble. I'll fix it later. Will this awful mess, this trouble, be ended soon? Not for a while, Susan. I'm afraid it'll take me three or four more days. To do what, Uncle Django? Well, to find Mr. Scott. Well, 
There it is. Now, the Civil War is about to start down there in the street. Hmm. But Scott's nowhere around. Stage. They took it. Yeah, yeah, they took it. All right, who was it? Django? No, nah, Pedro and Santo, and all the other Mexicans. We just loaded the strong box on the stage, and everything was going fine when suddenly there was lead flying from everywhere. You're a bunch of imbeciles. Completely brainless. You bungle everything. I'd be better off hiring a pair of mules. It's your fault, not John's or mine. We could have divided it as usual. Instead, you wanted to double-cross them. Then where's your plan got us? Nowhere, not one red cent to share between us. And what's more, over half our men dead. <coughs> Let's keep calm now, boys. I'm the boss around here, as well as the brains of this outfit. We'll get that cash back if you follow my orders, because I know where it is. Yours, Peter. <laughs> this is for us, and the rest is for General Ramirez. Eh? Eh? To hell with Ramirez, Santo. When we decided to double-cross Scott, you and I made new agreements, right? You remember, don't you? I remember, see. You are like my own brother. Brothers should share things. And now you... 
You want to leave it with nothing? To hell with the revolution. Let us divide it. You should be thinking about us, not Ramirez. What will Ramirez do? Without this cash, he cannot buy the guns he needs. Listen, Santo. The revolution does not interest us. How about another small war? All right, you bastards. I want that money ever sent. Sorry, gringo. You better leave while you still can. I ain't going. I want that cash. And I'll come in there and get it if I have to. Oh, listen, amigo. Instead of killing each other, let's split it three ways. I'm taking all of it. Gringo! Come on, Santo. The war is over. Don't worry, I ain't gonna kill you. Good work, amigo. Throw down your gun. What gun? See, now there is only two of us to divide it. Amigo, I give both arms to see Scar's face. It's true. Who would have believed that one day I would be rich, amigo, eh? There's enough here to buy a complete city. I know they would have killed me if you ain't got here. Still, let's plead it. And I swear I'll always remember what you did for Santo. I think maybe I better explain that all this money is gonna go back to Silver City. In fact, I'm gonna return it personally. Oh, madre de Dios. Amigo, I want the cash only for the revolution. With that, I can buy guns. And food for the needy. Jungle. Yeah, yeah, my heart is bleeding for you. Just be happy you're alive. Let's get started. Okay. Just something. A couple of dollars, amigo. Please. Just a little... For the peonies? Not a penny. But why not? Please, just a few dollars. My people are hungry. They've got their religion, haven't they? That's more than you and I've got. Mm. Put it on my horse. See it once, senor. Like the good loyal slave I am, senor. I must have been loco out of my mind to break you out of jail. Loco, loco. <laughs> Who is it? What the hell's in there? Uh, compressed Mexicans. I want to talk to Susan if she's around. She'll be here in a few minutes. It all depends on you. The way I want you to help me is to go into town and talk to the Sheriff and the Reverend. Explain to them both what happened and also that it doesn't seem like any cash is missing. I'll be back in the morning. You will be careful, won't you, Uncle Django? 
Don't let anything go wrong after all this. It'll all be all right now. Don't you worry. I'll leave for town right away. You can count it if you like, gentlemen, but uh, I think you'll find us all there. Now you'll be able to go ahead and pay for the school and the church the townspeople here all need. Well, gentlemen, if I'm not wrong, that should cover everything. We are eternally grateful to you. You have shown yourself to be a man of great courage and forbearance, my son. May God forgive us for having doubted him. That's all right, Reverend. I better get on back to searching for Mr. Scott. He's the man behind all this. May God watch over you. So long. So long. Uh, uh Reverend Johnson, uh, I'd like to try and get a tin star for myself. If you could put a word in, it, it, it would help me to bring those men in, understand? Yes, my son, of course. Ah, uh, deep in my heart, I always knew he was innocent. I agree with you, Reverend. Uh, well, I admit, I was sure he was as guilty as any man could be, but I'm the first to admit if I'm mistaken. And I can only say I'm sorry that I prejudged him wrongly. Well, well, no one's infallible. We all make mistakes. Amen. My children, as always, truth and honesty have triumphed, and we have our money back. And with the gracious help of God, by the end of the year, we will have our new school and church. I think a celebration is in order. Well, it was the only thing left I could do, Sheriff. Everyone decided I was a thief and a murderer to boot. Even you. You gotta admit, Django, that all the evidence we had was against you. That's all over now. You're a representative of the law again. And I'm sure you'll uphold it to the best of your ability. Thanks, Sheriff. Now I'm all legal. I can go after those bastards without having to worry about anything. Yep. Now we can pull those bastards in. I really hate those people. I'm going to make them suffer for all the trouble they've caused. Both Scott and my friend Santo. I found out that Scott's real name is Jim Flanagan and that there's still an old reward sitting on his head of $1,500. I'm not after that. I just want Jim Flanagan. He killed my brother and his family. For almost nothing, just a few ounces of gold. I spent years trying to find that murdering bastard. Now I've finally driven him into the open. My only problem will be to bring him in alive, not to shoot him on sight. Well, better be going now. If I know anything about those outlaw Mexicans, there's a good possibility they'll be coming into town hoping to steal that money again. So I'll be waiting for them. I'm going now, Sheriff, and I'll be back in a few days. I sure appreciate your making me a deputy for now. So long. Best of luck to you, Django. God, he's a man to be reckoned with. They look like they're about to drop dead. Yeah, that's right. What do you expect? You send us much further than usual. There was good reason. Now listen. I've changed my mind this morning. I don't want Django dead any longer. I just want to teach him a lesson. But he's to stay alive. So keep your hands off your guns. Anyways, he's much faster than both of you together. So forget about pulling your guns. And just give him a working over. I'll give you a good piece of advice. They'll make you try in town, boys. Out of the city, huh? Anywhere on the outskirts where there's nobody around.
whiskey. Yes, sir. Got anything for me? Well, there were two men in here looking for you today. you feel? Get that bottle out of here. Come on, up you get. <sighs> Sit over here. Now, what happened? I'm sorry to bust in, but I'm sure nobody saw me coming up here. We don't have to worry about that anymore. We can get married tomorrow. Who attacked you? The Parkinson brothers, but I'm glad of it because it means my plan is working. What's this about a plan? You expect me to marry you when you could be killed at any moment? They could have killed me right then. They must want me alive. I wonder why. You can't go around looking like this. There's some old clothes of yours still here. They're not much, but they're better than these. I'll go and get them. Do you recall when you wore these? When you were sheriff? meeting. Now we can finish what we only started earlier. If it was up to me, I'd put a slug in the middle of your belly. But orders is orders. All right, let's get started. Haul him down.
know I got a hanker to put a saddle on you, damn you. Scott will be interested to learn how you ran. All right, take him. Ha! Ha! Let's go. Yeah! Yeah! He's all yours now, Mr. Scott. We did exactly as you said. Left him alive. Good. There's the small matter of paying you the reward, huh? A thousand dollars, right? Yeah, that's right. Now, that's a lot of money. What are you gonna do with it all? Well, me and Bill kind of decided to buy ourselves a little chunk of land. <laughs> ah. Yeah. That's a pretty good idea. Listen, though, uh... Yeah. We think so. Instead of you buying it, why don't I give you some land? <laughs> oh, uh, to get buried on. My pleasure, Mr. Django. You know, I've been dreaming about this for so many years. It became my great ambition to get you. And now, here you are all from me. I must confess, I feel sorry for you, being one of those gentle-hearted people. <laughs> no, you don't deserve my pity, Django. Your brother didn't deserve any pity, either. You dirty bastard. <laughs> Filthy son of a bitch. Yeah, you're right. I'm a real bastard. A bastard who enjoys kicking uh. people. And kicking you best of all. Well, I could put a quick bullet in you, Django. A bullet in your brain. But that's too simple. Too merciful. I swear you're gonna beg me to kill you before I've finished. You're gonna beg me, you bastard. Don't bet on it. Uh. You good-for-nothing pig. I'll make you squirm even more for pulling that. You're gonna live even longer. Till all you want is death. You're gonna pray I'll just put a bullet in you. Scott, the next bullet will be in your head. <laughs> Amigo mio is all right now. You can come out. 
<laughs> Remember what I said about your friend Santo. He never forgets a favor. Here, amigo, he's loaded. Come on, up you get. I'm taking you to town. The sheriff be mighty happy to give you room and board. Until they hang you. Bad amigo. It's bad. See, very bad. You know, for a gringo, you are a good man. Amigo. Santo. Somewhere inside that rough exterior, he had a good heart. A part that believed. Believed in his revolution. Adios, amigo. When the new church has been built in Silver City, I'll go and say a prayer for you and your hungry people. <laughs>